Scott. Hey there, Super Kids, and welcome to Super Kids, your number one source for youth fitness and wellness. My name is TJ, your in home personal trainer, and it's right here where we work out together in our own living rooms. Now boys and girls, get ready because in this particular Pilates session, we have an excellent Pilates instructor named Jessica Schatz, who will instruct you on exactly what to do. Okay boys and girls, get ready because you will be using the following items. A pair of socks, ooh, two soup cans, yeah, and your water bottle. Make sure there's water in that water bottle. Hey super kids. Okay, so we're gonna start sitting on the floor with our soup cans. And I want you to sit in a comfortable cross-legged position, sometimes known as crisscross applesauce. So either leg in front, it doesn't matter, whatever's more comfortable for you. So we're gonna take our two soup cans and we're gonna do an exercise called shaving. So it's like you're shaving the back of your head. You're going to bend your elbows and lift your arms up and your hands go behind your head. You tip slightly forward from the hips with a long flat spine coming in and then you lift your arms up and down and go behind your head. Lift up and down. So my tummy is in, my spine is long and I'm shaving the back of my head up and down. Try to keep those cans together. So if your arms don't go all the way straight, that's okay. I'd rather the cans stay together than you do that to be able to straighten your arms. If your elbows are a little soft, that's okay. So tummy in, lift and down, and lift and down. Good, now rest your arms for a second. Now we're gonna do an exercise called hug a tree. And it looks just like we're hugging a tree. So the arms are going to open out to the sides. Now remember, don't let the shoulders come up by the ears. Low shoulder blades, soft elbows, which means a slight bend in your elbow. And you're going to close your arms around that tree, kiss the cans. We could call it kissing and hugging a tree. But we're hugging a tree and we're just kissing the cans. We just like to add little fun things like that at Super Kids. So hug that tree and kiss the cans and you're nice and controlled in those arms. You see no flailing, I'm going real slow, which makes it hard. My arms are working hard. I'm sitting up tall, no slouching. Tummy in, tall spine and open. Hug that tree, kiss and open. One more, hug the tree, kiss and open. Put the soup cans down just for a second and give your head a little circle. So you can stretch out your neck and circle both directions. And when you go back, you don't have to go all the way back, just lift it up a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna do a second set of both of those exercises again, okay? So we're really make them count. So again, tummy in tall, no slouching in your back, right? Sitting tall, take the cans, keep them together behind your head, tip forward slightly, and then lift the cans up, keep them together, and down. Lift the cans up, keep them together, and down. Lift them up and down and lift and lower tummy is pulled in, lift. So again, it's very slow, which keeps our muscles in control of the exercise. So we're not using momentum, we're using all muscle control here. And up and one more, long neck, up and down. Good, rest your arms for a second. And now we've got our second set of hug a tree and kiss the cans. So open up your arms, soft, little bend of the elbow, soft elbow, and in control, nice and slow, close and touch and open. Tummy is in, spine is long, close and open, and close and open. Lift up and kiss the cans and open. So see how slow I'm moving, which means my muscles are in control of everything. So I have to work them really hard, no momentum at all and close and kiss and open and two more close oh this is hard one more and close and open and put them down and take that little neck stretch again little easy circle make sure you go both directions maybe one side feels better than the other you can sort of linger there like that very good so put your cans off to the side we don't need those and you're going to sit with your legs straight out in front of you, nice and tall. So lift in your tummy 
and you're gonna reach your arms forward like this. So your hands are close together like they're gonna clap, right? Except you're reaching forward. Now, this is really hard, but we're gonna do it because we can do it, super kids. You're gonna lift your right leg up and hold, and then put it down. So that's lots of work in the tummy, right? I know you feel the leg too. And then other side, up and hold, and down. Now the idea is to keep your back flat. So use your tummy, right leg up and hold, and down. Left leg up and hold, and down. Good, now we're gonna add something. So close your hands, and you're gonna make your fingers together like this, right? So it looks like a gun. So you're gonna lift your right leg up, and you're gonna twist to the right, go forward, put the right leg down. Lift the left leg up, twist to the left, go forward, put the left leg down. Lift the right leg up, twist to the right, and forward, and down, and left leg up, and twist to the right, and forward and down. Now you've got that squirt gun. Pretend to squirt water at the wall. Bend those fingers, bend those fingers. That was just for fun. You can shake your hands up now. Okay, lay down on your back. Hug your knees to your chest. Lift your legs up to the sky in Pilates position. So heels together, toes apart. Now, it's a good idea to put your hands right underneath your lower back and hips. It helps protect your back. So you're gonna lower your legs very slowly and lift them very slowly. So inhale, down, 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 and slowly exhale up, up, up. So it's also, if you notice, we're all, this whole session, we're doing things really slowly because it's all about controlling with your muscles. The moves are simple, but they're nice and slow because you have to work really hard with those muscles getting control. Inhale, down, 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 exhale, up, up, up. Really pull that tummy in. Inhale, suck your tummy in, suck it in, suck it in. And exhale, up, up, up. Two more. Inhale, pull tummy in, pull tummy in, pull tummy in. I'm going slow. Exhale, slow, slow. Everything is slow. Last one. Inhale, down, down, down. Exhale, up, up up and bend your knees and hug them into your chest and give yourself a nice little squeeze. That should feel good on your lower back. Lift your knees in and out. Yes, good. And then one more time, you're gonna take your head in your hands, head up, elbows wide, lift the legs up, and now just one leg at a time. You're gonna lower your right leg and then lift it, and then lower your left leg and lift it. So everything in this session is slow and controlled, and up and down, Tummy in and down, tummy in and down. One more each side and down and up. Last one, down and up and bend the knees. Take your right knee into your chest, straighten your left leg, open your right arm and take a spine twist with a single leg straight and single leg bend. Open up the chest and shoulder, lengthen through your lower back and then slowly come back to center. Other side, left knee in, right leg long, left arm out, and then go ahead and twist that spine and stretch in your shoulders, stretch in your lower back, breathe into your body, and slowly come back to center, and take your little rock and rolls up to sitting, rock and roll a few times on the back, it's like a nice little massage on your spine, and great job, all done. Uh -huh. Boys and girls, if you got through that Pilates session successfully, give yourselves a nice round of applause. Very, very well done. That was not easy. Now, remember boys and girls to drink plenty of water before, during, and especially after exercise. You want to make sure that you're having little sippies of water, not big gulps, but little sippies. Now, for those of you out there that were not able to complete everything in this particular Pilates session, that is okay, because here at Super Kids, all that we really care about is that you just give it your best in every single video that we offer. Now, with that said, boys and girls, we've got lots more videos headed your way, so make sure you're checking those out because each and every video is very different from the next. Okay, boys and girls, I have a question. What part of a car is always the laziest? Well, that would be the wheels because they're always tired. <laughs> I'm TJ. I'm TJ. I'm TJ. Until next time, good luck!